it's not a flashy looking car, it's just a little forgotten economy car from the, the 70s. The Datsun in the next lane is an imposter. It's camouflaged to look ordinary. It feels good knowing that I'm not running on foreign oil. You know, I'm, you know, I'm showing my independence by doing this, and uh, it's good for the air. We've got nice blue skies today, we like to keep it that way. John Whalen's electric car has another secret. Under that unassuming 1972 skin lurks the power of a race car. Yeah, White Zombie uh, is right now the world's quickest accelerating street legal electric car, period. John Whalen's known as Plasma Boy, an unabashed gearhead crusader out to avoid gas, clean the air, and have fun at the same time. There's no conventional engine. It's gone. He's got a custom-built computer under the hood. 60 batteries fill the trunk and the back seat. Originally, it had 69 horsepower, and now it has about 300. And he simply loves speed. I'm 18 inside. <laughs> At Portland International Raceway's open race night, John's driver, Tim Brim, pits the zombie against a sleek Corvette. We go into the den of the lion. We go to the drag strip where muscle cars and hot imports are, that's the thing. They, you know, they're, they're just tearing up the track, and we roll in with our electric car and knock heads with them, and, and it gets their attention. It is an awful lot of fun to blow away a Corvette with an electric Datsun. In two races, the 72 Datsun wins each time by a full second. And the win is more than just a win. Check it out. You guys just witnessed a new world record. The white zombie topped 107 miles per hour in a quarter mile in a fraction over 12 seconds. The Corvette's driver, Robert Akers of Pendleton, seems impressed. His whole shot blew me away. He, he comes off the line so hard. How does he do it? The secret weapon in electric motors is not their horsepower. What electric cars have in abundance is torque a lot more than, than a gas engine could ever have. Electric motors produce full torque from the first instant. So the zombie shoots right off the line. In between races, John's like a preacher on a mission to find converts. You, you know that it's electric, right? This is an electric car. Yeah, no, no gas. Wow. You ready? Here we go. Wow. Yeah. And that's all it's got in there, just that right there. Well, it's got a lot of batteries. You want to see those? Yeah. Check this out. Here's the rest of them. Oh, my goodness. I live out in the sticks, man. We do everything with four by fours and four wheel drives, everything. It's got to have power. It's got to be loud. <laughs> well, it's not loud, but it certainly has probably... power. Yeah, it sounds like an electric drill on steroids. You know? Wow. Look like a bunch of mad scientists, don't we? The raceway lets John plug in for power. Here we go. It takes about 12 to 20 minutes to refuel after a quarter mile race. I do consider myself an environmentalist. He doesn't like gas. It's a bad fuel in his book. But he's not heaping guilt trips on gas users. Everybody knows when you burn gasoline with an internal combustion engine, it makes nasty things that cause cancer and all kinds of crazy things. So you're, we're pouring pollution in the air, and, and that's why we do this. I don't think you should tell people that they're bad, but I do think you should show people there's a better way. But this is fun to watch him. <laughs> I've known him for quite a few years. <laughs> it's time for a couple more runs at PIR's open race night. A sporty BMW M3 lines up twice in a row. It never has a chance. I thought I had a pretty quick little BMW, but uh, it's like I was standing still. I give up against him. I'll try something more my size, I guess. <laughs> so uh, electric uh, DC volts prevails against uh, uh, super unleaded premium, I guess, uh, any time. <laughs> the Beamer lost while the zombie set yet another world record, 11.9 seconds. Now John's getting greedy. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be a showdown! Showdown! Yeah, keep it up. That's right. I love it. 
He wants the zombie to go even faster. Yeah! The zombie is unbeatable tonight. 1196! It's world record number three in one evening. 110 miles per hour. Hard Next time someone tells you electric cars are slow, what are you going to tell them? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no, that electric car. 11.96, another 11 at 110 miles an hour. We can go home now. Something hey, you guys, let's give Tim Brem a hand. Yeah. Yeah. Waylon's story could end here. World records, a really fast car, celebration beer. But John has other plans. For him, the zombie still is not fast enough. Would you like to see what we're doing here? Two weeks later, in his East Portland garage, John's Datsun is not only out of power, every single battery has been shelled. We're actually ahead of schedule. We've got a whole three hours. The car doesn't even run, but this is, this is great. We're in good shape. Oh, we've got lots of time. Lots of time. One problem. It's two hours till race time, and a okay. special set of replacement batteries okay. is nowhere in sight. Okay, I have one word for you, Bill. Ah! Where, where are you? Yes, we're waiting for the lithium pack. I guess we just had a breakdown of communication, and I'm trying to be polite. I'm not trying to be nasty, but I'm just freaking out. We're on our way. Don't leave without us. Everything's behind schedule now. So we're going to go to the track with this pack completely untested. That's racing, but, you know, I think it's going to work really well. Finally, the batteries arrive, small enough to carry in two boxes. But now there's a new glitch. Oh, it's wide. Yeah, it's not going to fit in there. Pull it. Mm -mm. Pull it to this side? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. Wow. I wasn't, I wasn't, this is a bad thing. You know, this is bad. The batteries on loan are super efficient. Uh, they're the same batteries that they use in the cordless tools. They're very powerful ones. Lithium ions weigh far less than the lead batteries he's used until now. So the car is going to go from weighing approximately 2,600 pounds overnight to under 1,900 pounds and probably pick up another 100 horsepower. It helps to have a metal working friend at your side. They make it fit, get it connected, and hope it works. Okay, we're going. We're good. Let's hit the track. Let's get the, all our start charging gear. It's alive, guys. It's alive. The team that loaned the batteries runs the Kilocycle, an electric motorcycle. It can do zero to 60 in just two seconds. It's the batteries, stupid. <laughs> it's all about the batteries. And that's the reason we're going faster than anybody else. And that's the reason Wayland's going to be going fast tonight. The zombie weighs 700 pounds less, thanks to the small, sophisticated batteries. Here we go. I say 12.6. We're very proud of the fact that we're forging ahead and doing something that a lot of people didn't think could be possible. We, I was told uh, by an electrical engineer back in the 90s that an electric car would never, ever run quicker than an 18-second quarter mile because he'd done the math. What? 11.8. John Wayland admits it's fun leaving gas cars in his dust, but he'd like to see more electrics. It's fun to be the only one at the strip, but we wish it wasn't so. By the time his weekend was over, John's custom-built electric motor had set record after record, did a quarter of a mile in under 11 and a half seconds, and never put out one ounce of air pollution. It's not every day you get to be a pioneer, and, and I think that Tim and I are pioneers. We want people to say, have you heard about the new electric car? It's really, really fast, you know? It's really fun. We want people to actually want an electric car. You can be environmentally correct and have a good time. 